Hello there and welcome back to another episode. So in the previous one we did build this fantastic bathhouse over here which was inspired by Spirited Away. Now in today's episode let's bring back the UI real quick as well. There's something very exciting I've been waiting to try out and that is trains. We do have trains in Dimbaborn so I've already installed the mod. Uh, there we go. We've got this new tab over here with a selection of tracks. We got the good station, waiting station and train yard. Just to save a bit of time, I've already set up a little like a test track for us as well. So in our factory area, we do need a few goods. For example, the engines consume logs and the same with smelter as well. Whereas the efficient mine, we do need some gears. I mean, treated planks, yes, but they are very close to us. So we are not transporting that. So we do have a good station over here. And in this one, we do need to set it to accept a couple of things. So logs, first of all. So it says receiving logs. And currently we have 29 out of 200. Now, the second thing we do want to import over here is the gears. So yeah, this one's now empty. So this means we are now set up and good to go now in our production zone we have another station over here and this one is sending gears and sending logs and let's put this building on a slightly higher priority as well so that's two of our good stations now done we also do need a train yard so this one's quite interesting it has seemingly like an input and output although it doesn't seem to matter which way the trains go I have already connected both of the entrances or exits and so that's yeah that's pretty much set up now and uh, last but not least we do ha also have a beaver access to the to the train yard because we also need 20 planks and 15 scrap metal to create a new train okay it does have a bit of a storage here as well so we can uh, have enough resources for at least two trains right now we already have one over here that is currently in one of our waiting stations so these are very useful especially when the train doesn't really have anything to do so it's not gonna clog up the road they can come over here and just wait until the next order is ready now what is very important about the waiting stations is that they are not part of your main track so for example we cannot put a waiting station right here because they need to be a little separate from from your main track Okay, so now that we do have everything set up, we can actually test this out. So let's resume the time as well. And we should see this train hopefully very soon start to move around. So why don't we follow you as well? All right, there it goes. It's going to head straight to our good station over here. Then pull over and load up quite a few resources. Now it's going to make its way onto our second good station. And it's already dropped off the resources. Now this is going to save so much time for the beavers to walk all the way from our production zone to the to the scrap city. But of course, because both of these stations are within the same district, some of the beavers will start bringing some gears and logs over here from, from the other side. Now it is also possible to set those good stations in different districts. And that's where I think it will be it will be most powerful especially if we had one district let's say well where it is right now and another one perhaps around this mine over here so we could very quickly and easily transport all that scrap metal to our scrap city and that's something we are going to do very soon as well all right there we go so in today's episode there's a couple of things we do want to do we've been playing with one or single district for quite some time now so I think it's about time that we we change that and expand a little outward. So let's talk about the plans that we do have. First of all, we've been putting off constructing quite a quite a large bridge that we do do have in here. So let's get this done as well. I've already unpaused everything, so the beavers should be starting to construct everything in here right away. Now, looking at this map as a whole, what I'd like to do is first of all keep this area as our farming district. So that means all this production eventually is going to move out from here. And then on top of this hill, we will split it in half. We'll have half of it as maples. So we can get the maple syrup from those trees. And then the other half will be chestnut trees for the chestnuts, of course. This means on the lower levels, we can do some, some other plants as well. I think the last one that we don't really have right now is wheat. Well, of course, cattail as well, but we need a bit of water for that. So we'll have to think about where can we construct that. Sunflowers, yes, we don't have a lot right now, but perhaps we can change some of the areas where we have potatoes 
and turn them into sunflowers instead. Okay, so that will be our farming section. Now, at the top over here, I was thinking, going back into what we built in the in the previous episode, the bathhouse over here, in the anime as well, by the entrance, or right next to the entrance to the bathhouse, there are a lot of restaurants and some other houses as well, if I remember it correctly. So this means I do want to clean up this area and change it up a little bit. Let's get rid of all of the large industrial piles and then turn this little hill here into, I guess, into either housing or maybe some, yeah, restaurants. I guess we'll find out as we progress. Okay, now on top of this hill, if this area becomes the housing, this is probably the zone where we do want to have all of the production, right? So going into this tab over here, probably some packing plants, bakeries, grist mills, and also the grills themselves as well. I think we should be able to fit quite a, quite a few in here, potentially. I mean, if we don't want to destroy this area, we could keep it and then figure out where else can we put our production zone and then perhaps use, create like a little train track over here as well that picks up the resources, runs through the area and brings it to wherever we have our production zone. Next, we have our production. So if all the blanks and the gears are going to move out from here, but also the paper and dynamites, I was thinking, well, if we have one of our mines over here, so Scrap City will be our main metal production zone but we do also have this mine over here now, i don't think we'll build another big production around this zone we'll use it more as a extraction point so we'll get the scrap metal and then export it with the trains all the way to scrap city now with the planks and gears well what i was thinking there is this lovely island over here so we could turn this into our blank and gear production and maybe even paper and dynamites as well so it's going to be nicely centralized between two mines and we can have trains running between them. Now all those plans are going to need quite a large workforce. So I think it is time that we start making some columns already as well. It's uh, yeah, we're uh, pretty far into our season already and we still don't have any columns helping us out. We do want to have some of that production running 24 7 so we will be prepared for our next big build so what i was thinking this area looks pretty pretty interesting over here and initially when i was checking out this map i was thinking this could be a very lovely spot for all the beaver housing and maybe even turn it like a like into a resort but now since we do have the bathhouse over there and the houses are going to move right next to it we might turn this into a column factory instead because if the production is going to be here we got the mine it seems to only make sense if the train runs through here, one stop somewhere on this hill, another one here, and the last one I think is going to be in this scrap city over here. Maybe have another one here if we want to do some maple, maple trees along this way. So yeah, that's what we are going to do in this episode. I've already placed down a few stairs, so we just want to see how far can we go from the district. Build a distribution center as far as we can create another district, send some beavers over, and then start building everything up. Okay, now what I think we could do... Oh, we don't quite have the range. I was thinking maybe we could lay down the drain tracks first and bring it up here, but we don't quite have the range, so we are going to have to do things a bit more manually. Unless, unless we send the train through here, follow the ghost line, go up the hill, and then, yeah, that might be a little bit easier because right now we do have a lot of jobs that don't have beavers. A lot of vacancies and we are going to need quite a sizable workforce over here to build everything up pretty quickly. So let's do that actually. Yeah, so let's get everything built over here so we can see how far things need to go. Alright, there we go. Give you a slightly higher priority and we do need a few more stairs around this area. I think from here we probably don't have to climb up actually. We could also... We'll, we'll still connect you up and maybe go down from here. It also depends where we find a nice flat surface for our distribution center. So why don't we skip ahead a little bit and see how far we can go. Alright, so there we go. We've got the stairs in place now. And if we take a quick look, we can go all the way here, which is fine. Now the next thing we are going to need is the distribution post. Build you... Hmm, okay, so this will be perfect, but do you know what? I think we will be fine over here as well. So let's get you built next. 
What I've also done real quick is lay down some of the drain tracks over here. They have started building, well, most of it is already done. But uh, yeah, that's definitely going to speed up our construction when we get the drain operational. Okay, so yeah, that's going to go in next. This means uh, you guys are building a few more sections in here, isn't it? Yep, so we can get this built first. Actually, these ones as well. Alright, there you go. We don't quite have the range for this one, but that is fine. As soon as we get the tracks down over here, we can place down the district center as well. Alright, there we go. The tracks are now in place, which means... Let's do the district center right about here. You are now... Actually, never mind. Let's do the gate right over here. Or maybe even next to next to you. Yep, this might be a little bit better. And we'll uh, reconnect the roads as well. Alright, there we go. Now, the resources we are going to need in here first. Let's take a look. So the train good station needs some logs, blanks, and a little bit of scrap metal as well. But I think the first thing we actually have to make is a couple of houses in here so that the first beavers could start living in this zone. Yep, this might be a little bit better. Now, let's also give them a storage for a little bit of water. Oh, that's the wrong one. And last but not least, we also need the drop-off zone. So there we go. Now we just have to set up a couple of things in here. First of all, we would like to receive some water and also some food. So for food, because we have a lot of grilled potatoes, let's just do these two for now. So once we get the houses done as well, we can maybe climb down from here. Okay, I think the roads will probably change you over as well. But right now, we just want to quickly construct the most important things for us. Okay, now how are the drain tracks going? Well, I think we have connected everything up except this zone here. Now, to get this done, let's give you a slightly higher priority as well. All right, there we go. We've got the houses in place. I believe our small tank should be done very soon as well. So let's set you to water. I mean, technically, yes, we don't really need it here because we do have the drop off point and you can hold quite a bit in here. It, it's fine. We'll, we'll just have a spare one just in case. You'll never know. I think it's time that we bring some beavers in here. We're going to need a few construction ones. So let's set you up. We'll do an automatic one. All right, there we go. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, so now it actually shows us where you're going. Well, that's very helpful indeed. Very lovely quality of life improvement. And it seems we've also been building up this pretty quickly. All right. That means I believe they do have access already through this one here. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah. There we go. Looking nice and green still. Climb down from here. You have access through... Oh yeah, that goes both ways. So I think we can cut the link now. Let's see what happens if we do this. Okay, anything? Nope. I think we are good. Alright. And now we can start planting some more trees in here as well. Cool, so how are we doing here? We've got the... Warehouse scheduled in, not quite complete yet. Let's do another warehouse over here and drains the good station. Okay, I think, yeah, this might be... Let's place you here. That means we are going to need a road and the roads will be, will be done like so. Now, the last thing we don't have in here is scrap metal. So we shall send over just a tiny bit. So yeah, let's give it a little bit of time. I think there's another track that we have to unpause here. And now it should be should be good. Now to complete our station as well, we are going to need a little turnaround for the train itself. So we'll keep it pretty simple. I've just moved over the good station by one tile. And then the train, once it arrives here, it can turn around and then go back. So there we go. We do have the good station in place now, which means we probably don't have to export some of the things from the distribution post. So let's set you up as well. We are going to logs. Yeah, definitely. Receiving those, then blanks will be next one. If only we could find them. All right, there we go. Blanks. All right, lovely. What else do we want? I think food and things we can leave now. 
I'm not sure. <laughs> Were we loading up any blanks from the other station? Let's take a look. Okay, in this one we are sending logs and gears. All right, so let's send out some blanks as well. Now, what we might want to do is let's create another train. All right, here's our second one. Now, what's going to be interesting to see, are they going to clash or what's going to happen? So you are going, let's follow you around. All right, here we go. You're going to go into this station or all the way through. Oh, you're going to wait over here for a second. Second one comes in. Oh, okay. And now we have a bit of a problem. So maybe we should put like a waiting station in the middle here. I mean, we don't have any signals right now. And making it one way, no, it would still go through. But for some reason, it told the drain that the track is empty. Okay, let me figure this out real quick. I've uh, tried to figure out what's the best way to solve this problem. And it seems our only option is to create one-way tracks. Let's go back in here. If we zoom in as well, it shows, okay, this one can go straight ahead. Flip it around, no entry on this one. Yep, so doubling up seems to be the way to go. This means, however, we are going to have to make some modifications in our system right now. It's not going to be very easy. I'm sure we can figure this out. I mean, the tricky parts will be probably here where they kind of have to shear or maybe one goes different way, but now the access might be problematic. And same in here as well. In Scrap City, it might be a little difficult to bring it through the station. So we might have to create alternative route that goes all the way around and then reconnects I guess about here, or maybe through here. Okay, so give me a second, I will place down one-way tracks real quick, and we'll be back as soon as it's done. Alright, so there we go, that took way longer than expected. I initially wanted to do the tracks side by side, but then I quickly realized that, oh, why don't we just build it above, and that's exactly what we have done. We've got double tracks, well, they are going, yeah, in a, in a single way, shouldn't have any clashes anymore, and it just runs all the way through the map. In here we have a quick little turn around for the for the trains as well. And then the depot is still where it was. I had to rearrange this area a little bit more as well. So what I found useful is using the smaller corner tracks because we can place the platforms right above them. Whereas with the bigger ones you can't really place anything above them unless you... Let's say if we were to use side platforms instead. But yeah, so there we go. Now it's uh, fully functional and I've been observing this for a while as well. So it seems the trains don't go into our other district, but they are bringing resources. Let's have a look. What are you carrying? Okay, there we go. You've got some logs in here and logs in all of them. Now, what might be happening is we accept logs and gears over here. Okay, so the trains go over here and they pick up the goods. Okay, then they go all the way to, to the other goods station right here. But what might be happening at the same time is the haulers, because we have quite a few in this district, I think. They might be thinking, hey, our storage is and the goods warehouse in here needs gears. So they will run, they might be running all the way here, pick them up from the, from the storage or the goods station and then carry it all the way back. It might be happening. I mean, I, I would have to observe them for a little while to figure out if that's the case. So let's have a look. Okay, so there is one beaver over here. Let's see where he's going and what is he carrying. Are we able to select him? Okay, yep. Yeah, he's got gears. And let's see where you are going to take them. Hmm. Okay. So yeah, seems like he's running... Oh yeah, exactly what we thought and he takes them to the good station. So so I think a better case for this is actually using the trains between districts and not within the same one. Because as we just observed, the resources end up going in a circle around from one station to another. And they actually, yeah, some of them might not end up in the efficient mine at all. And it's just a lot of wasted wasted time. So I think for the time being, what would be more smart is if we remove the station over here. Unfortunately, we can't quite pause it. So yeah, I think we are going to have to remove it and rely on the 
the haulers instead and then in the future yeah we'll figure this out that's actually gonna change our plans around a little bit but hey at least they're working which is really cool i really like this mod and i guess we just have to be a little bit more smart about how we do use them because with our bigger plans as well i don't think the trains will be the best way to move the goods around between the new production zone into here unless of course they are in the in a different district right so i've taken out the the station over here and we're just gonna put down the tracks and let the haulers carry the gears and the the logs instead and as soon as they clear up the rubble over here we can also put the tracks below uh actually never mind we can just place it here just like so all right there we go where are you guys right now uh, both are in the waiting station okay so Oh, never mind. We didn't build a waiting station here. So I guess we are going to have to improve this a little bit as well. I mean, it is our first try with this mod. And I'm sure we can find ways how to make it more efficient eventually. Okay, so if we can leave you guys constructing all of that here. Let's go back into our new district. These guys have been sitting around doing nothing for quite some time now. And I think our goal was to get some... Or start making some bots over here. So what do you need? We need blanks, gears, and... <laughs> and let's see, metal. Okay. And then we do need the assembler as well. And you are going to need the charging station. I don't think we need the control tower just yet. And I've also just realized, maybe we didn't have to destroy it. Alright, wait a second. Let's not construct everything. So if we don't bring gears over here... We could still use this station, actually. Yep, let's, uh, let's build it again. All right, there we go. Everything's highlighted. Highest priority, please move everything out. I don't think we need this ladder here anymore. All right, so this one can go as well. Oh, I think we've lost access to... All right, there we go. So, yeah, let's do the good station again. Right, so here it is. It's just going to have to wait for a few resources and we'll have you back online. Oh, there we go. It's already done. So, <laughs> let's grab you again. Edit allowed goods. And what we shall do is not receiving, but we will be sending them out. Now, last thing we do have to check is, are you still able to build everything here? Well, hopefully... Let's see, resources are going in. Oh yes, they are. So we should be should be fine. And one of the drains is already going onto the other side. Okay, cool. So let's uh, leave you guys there. Now with our column factory, we don't really have the exact layout how we want to how we want to build it here. But I think yeah, let's uh, let's keep it simple for now. All right. So there we go. We can do one, two, and three. Okay, so we had a bit of a problem as well. I just had to delete a few tracks to try and figure out what's going on. So I noticed that the train... Where have you gone now? It seems he has disappeared. Well, anyways, there was one up there and the other one was here. And for some reason he's trying to go straight, even though there's a sign that clearly says that this is not the, not the way. Uh, right, where is our other train then? You must have gone all the way... Oh yeah, there he is. Alright, so let's take a look. If we can quickly fix it, we'll try and remove everything. I'll give them a different access point here as well. Let's see what happens. Okay, now the train tracks themselves. You are going to be a junction here. Do those signals in here as well. We do want this one to be exit only. And now I think we will... I don't think it really matters which way they go around. So let's place you here. Okay, almost done. We'll unpause you as well. The reason why I've left this without a signal and yes, it's most likely going to cause some problems in the future. Uh, I'm just uh, trying to see where this guy is trying to go. He's still stuck here. All right, one more track needed, but everyone might be asleep already. There we go. Okay, so you are moving now. What about you? So maybe we are going to have to leave you. Oh, never mind. I think he just went straight through him. Well, that's interesting. And now you went all the way there. Are you carrying... You must be carrying some resources, right? Okay, gears are going over. 
I tried to reload the game as well and see if that's gonna fix anything, but no, it seems to be a little stuck in here for some reason. It will be good to have the ability to delete them in case something like this happens in the future. I mean, it could be... Yeah, I'm not really sure what I might have done wrong over here. Let's have a look. So you can only go this way, can't go this way. Well, now it's a little bit different, yeah, but before we had this one-way sign in here. That is a little bit weird, because the other train went straight through as well, didn't it? Let's have a look. Okay, so here it goes. There's clearly a one-way sign in here. Oh no, okay, so you turned around, so that's fine. Let's have a look. Maybe, perhaps if we change these sections around, but then they can't... Oh no, they can go still in into the station, I think. But no, it's definitely going to cause some problems in the future. And I believe these are one way. Oh no, they are not. Okay, give me a second. I'm going to have a look. What can we change around here to make it a little bit better? Okay, I think we have finally fixed the problems that we were experiencing before. So what I decided to do, we ripped this whole section out and tried to make it a bit more simple, I guess. I mean, essentially it's the same thing, but all I've done really is just change the direction a little bit and we've also placed a lot more one-way signal tracks. And right now it seems to be working pretty well. So you're carrying logs. All right, there we go. Now, another problem I did seem to have was, I think it glitched out a little bit. So one, when one of the trains arrived here, now we had a ton of beavers bringing resources in here I, and I could see the, the numbers here filling up as well. And it seemed like the train was loading the resources, so it got them from, uh, from the goods station. But as soon as the goods were put on the train, just a split second later they kind of just disappeared from the, from the wagon itself. So that was a little odd, but if that happens, a quick reload seems to have fixed that problem. Okay, and now they are running around again. Now, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but it seems that the one-way signal tracks, the signs over here, might be splitting the track itself into different sections as well. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe it's the junctions or maybe it's the depots themselves. The reason why I'm saying this is when I had one train at the, at the good station over there, the other one was waiting, I think, at this junction here. So it wasn't entering this road at all until the train left this area. So we do have one flag over there and the next one is actually yeah, here. So it's, I guess it's considered one section. I mean, we could test it out and remove one of the straight tracks over here and put a flag instead, see what happens, but it seems to be working right now. So we might just leave it as it is and try and get our, our columns built. Yeah, I think that's what we might do. So let's have a look, have we taken any metal over oh yeah we've got tons of metal here so three factories are running now but we don't have any power for that i think we are gonna go with let's have a look probably do the engines over here all right so there we go let's keep it simple we'll just place two of those factories down and right now we just want to complete the power lines first let them construct one more all right there you go so i think we can do the first engine now gears metal and blanks okay let's have a look we've got gears logs metal and blanks so everything seems to be fine how about we take the take the logs out and i don't think we need any more scrap metal as well so that can that can be paused for for the time being now with the trains themselves i'm not sure how quickly can we keep this in stock uh, so what we might do is, yeah, let's uh, leave the blanks for the time being. Okay, so we should have first engine operational very soon. All right, there we go. Now, something interesting I've noticed here. Pretty much all resources were 200 maximum, but somehow logs has gone over. So what I'm guessing is one of the trains might have brought a few extra ones. So that's uh, temporarily increased the maximum amount of logs we can have here. So this one, oh, okay, there we go. We forgot to put some, uh, let's have a look. Yep, let's place the ladders just like so. All right, there we go. And you are gonna need a road as well. So let's do this very, very quickly. Perhaps a high priority and there we go. So factories are now operational, which is good. Okay, so here we can see one of the trains is returning whilst the other one is waiting behind this flag for some reason. 
Um, <laughs> I don't have any other flags along this route over here. It's just this one and that one. And as soon as it crossed the line, it seems, yeah, the train is now moving. So I think that's pretty safe to say now that those signals are the ones that are splitting the tracks. So it will be very useful to place a few along the way just to increase the efficiency and speed a little bit. Oh no, I totally forgot. They definitely get injured very quickly over here. We are going to have to... Let's pause you for a second, okay? Whilst we still have a few, a few alive beavers. All right, so you are now also going to export. Let's have a look. Where is our medicine? There we go. A few beavers in here and now well-being. Let's build a couple of medical beds. All right, one over there and let's do one here. We've got a bit of extra space in here. There we go. One, two, three, four. And we can do one here. Lovely view over, over the valley. Okay, so I think five should be fine, right? Now we are going to have to wait for them to heal up as well. Yeah, we definitely need those bots online very soon. We've got the points, so we might even be able to automate the factories first. Yeah, all right. You can carry on building the assembler now. And all we can do now is wait a little bit. Many hours later, we finally do have our first bot in here. Yeah, it's definitely been a bit of a struggle. We had a ton of beavers before that were injured. I think it went up to like 15. So I kept sending more and more beavers into, into this district over here. And then I had to close a few buildings as well because the empty jobs or the vacancies, I think we had about like 20, 25 or so with the spare one because we do have quite a few points. Now let's have a look. 10,000 for these ones. 5,000 for you. So we can actually unlock both. All right, let's do this one first. So you are going to jump into this factory. And yeah, wonderful. Oh, I see. So you are now working here, which is great. So no one's going to get injured in this factory. But it's not going to work overnight because the engines will shut off. I guess we are going to have to wait for our second pot, which is only about, well, almost 20% now. Not too long, and then I guess, yeah, we'll, we'll place you in the engine for, for a little while. Okay, so we do have a, another district. We've got pots now as well. And with the trains, I think they are pretty, pretty amazing. The distances they cover and they run all night as well. So we don't really have to worry about sending resources, or some of the resources at least, to all the way over there. And yeah, it's not the most direct route to be fair and that's because you know we tried to have a bit of a different setup before but i think overall i really like this mod it's definitely gonna make things more efficient for us and if i am correct about the flags sectioning the the route itself as well we we, we can test it out and place it in a few different locations i'm pretty convinced that's how it works right now at least well there you go there's another train now it starts going you've exited this junction and there are literally no signals or anything else on this on this loop over here so so yeah we're definitely gonna make this a bit more efficient as well but anyways if you haven't tried out the drains yet i definitely recommend it okay let's cut the episode here then it's been a lot of fun trying out this new mod i mean after we figured out a couple of problems that we did have with our tracks we're definitely gonna keep this one in our playthrough as well since i have been waiting quite a quite a long time to get a slightly better way to transfer resources between districts as well so i'm very happy we do have access to this mod thank you so much tobert and i definitely recommend giving it a try yourself as well if you haven't already but okay thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next episode